I'm a OG Kamikaze. That is the T. Yo guys, how's it going? New episode, what? new recording location. <laughs> oh shoot, new office, who dis? Welcome on back to Super Mario 3D Land versus the most consistent series on YouTube. <laughs> It's as consistent as as mayonnaise. Consistent as mayonnaise. That's like not consistent at all. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel I feel like I Super know, Mario how do you, 3D how do you versus a consistent bit. when it comes to like how do you what's how do you describe the consistency of a liquid? Is mayonnaise a liquid? We're starting off this episode with the real questions here. <laughs> Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> Yo, so question of the day. I'm not saying if you guys want to leave it down in the comments. How the hell do we define the the state of mayonnaise. of mayonnaise. The consistency of mayonnaise. But I'm sure it's possible. Uh, but yeah, I no. think mayonnaise would be a really consistent YouTuber. I think he would upload every single day. Every he single would never day. miss a day. I don't know. I could he see him being like a double daily kind of guy. Off. <laughs> I could see him being a double daily kind of guy. Like two videos a, a day. Daily? That is what he say. Now today, hip hip hooray. You got the flagpole. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'm starting this one with the lead. Yeah, I know. First level beat. So I'll be totally honest, before we actually got into today's episode, <laughs> I had absolutely no idea that we didn't record no, Special World the 5 level. yet. Did you just hop back into the same level? Yes, but Smooth. fortunately you suck, so you still haven't caught up yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I didn't even know that this is the levels that we were going to be recording for today's uh, session. I thought that we were doing Special World 7 and 8. That's what I've been practicing lately, but I don't know. It's Dude, fine. You did three practice streams since our last recording session. What have you been playing this whole time? <laughs> Special World 7 and 8, because I didn't know that we were doing these ones today. <laughs> it's fine. Wow. It's going to be the comeback Your story of the year, honestly. Not quite oh, God. Screw Shadow Mario in these next few worlds. Dude, he's in... Sucks. Shadow Mario is in, like, most of the levels uh, throughout Special World 7 and 8. It's ridiculous. That's how they amplify the difficulty, is just by making it so you can't stop moving. You're not yep. allowed to think. <laughs> that, and then also the timer. Like, literally, they, they had it unlocked to just make you feel rushed. So anyways, though, so Tyler, what are your fun plans in the new office? I don't know. You're in the new office, that's exciting for this series. People haven't seen it yet. That's true. My fun plans. Um, I plan to start in OnlyFans in here. Oh my God, uh, that's I a fun plan to... if I've ever heard one. <laughs> it's not an OnlyFans, oh, so it was an Only fun. plan. All right, there. Boom. Beat the first level. You need to show my boobs. Oh, really? For, for bits, you know? Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, so... I, for, I forgot bits isn't an actual form of currency. I thought that was. Yeah. I mean, um, it is throughout the Twitch e thought community, which I think that's what you're trying to nail, right? You're trying to get the, the monopoly on the e girl Twitch streamer. <laughs> I job. wonder if. If our currency ever crashes and you have just like a ton of bits on your Twitch account that you purchased, is that like a more like secure way than like an keep? actual bank account? <laughs> <laughs> it's like having it's like having a Bitcoin. Just but. look. Okay, if we're gonna deal with the zombie apocalypse, I'm fine. I got my bits. Uh, I'm actually a tier three sub on Pokimane's channel, so of course I'm prepared for this moment. <sighs> Good lord. A tier three sub, but she's taking a month break. I heard. Yeah, so I actually saw that is... update uh, this morning. I have no clue why. Are you are you gonna stay subbed for that month break as a tier three sub, or are you gonna? Well, at this point, I gotta think about myself loss. more than Pokimane, and I mean, if we're thinking about the zombie apocalypse coming up, I might want to retract the subs just just to keep the bits, you know. Is Pokimane is she a Pokemon YouTuber? Not at all. Her name is really really confusing. I'm not entirely sure what she does, <laughs> to be honest. I oh. just know that she's popular on uh, one of the biggest Twitch streamers, actually. I have never seen one of her streams before. Me neither. <laughs> to be honest, but it's hard to it's hard for me to get caught up with e thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get their their powers e don't work on me. Up. That that was a terrible <laughs> pun. I'm sorry. I absolutely apologize for that one. E hot. Tyler, I'm, I think I'm that... e hot. I'm only hot electronically. If you see me in person, it's like yikes. <laughs> like e not. That was a terrible pun. Dabbing didn't make it funnier either. I am actually <laughs> screwing up this level. Not terribly. Puns are like one of those things where it's like sometimes you can appreciate it, but in very rarely does it actually make things necessarily funnier. It's maybe like a 10% chance that a dab could actually get like a legitimate laugh. Otherwise, it's just like, a, oh God, that actually was in there. You actually, that was something that you did. Oh God, a mushroom. Thank God. <laughs> 
But yeah, no, Woo. so me and Tyler, believe it or not, even though we haven't been posting this uh, series in the past decade, I uh, have been practicing behind the scenes. And bro, I feel a lot better at this game than my performance that I gave in the last episode. Not even gonna cap. I've definitely played this game at least like eight hours since our last recording session. Yeah. Like the, these practice sessions for Versus are, are legit. This has like always been the biggest struggle for for like the series like versus series. Yeah, for real. When you complete a game, it's just all the practice that's required. Specifically, the beginning of the series, you don't need to that yeah. much, obviously. It's Specifically, when you get to the end of the game, like all of these last levels in the special worlds are freaking ridiculous. Not even gonna lie, like this game does like, make you really have to work playing. towards the end of it. Yes, ain't playing. Ooh. All right, boom. Give me that golden flagpole. Yeah, no. So, what level did you just beat? I could look up at the shared screen, but I'm kind of focusing. <laughs> yeah, you're being chased by Shadow Mario right now. He's coming for your britches. He's coming for my britches, man. This, <laughs> this dude, all right? Now's not the time. But yeah, no, what level did you just beat? He's got lots of britches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling in britches more than I'm pulling in bitches. But Shadow Mario is still trying. He still wants all the britches. Britches is probably the funniest word for pants in the world. Really? Britches? I don't know. I like trousers. Like, out of all of the the pants. The pants synonym. Why is it called a pair of pants? It's just one item. It's just one I think singular a pair, thing. I think a pair. Right? Wouldn't a pair of pants be two pairs of pants? No, I guess. Technically? But like. No, I guess when you say two pairs of pants, you say two pairs of pants. You don't say. Yeah. You don't refer to two. Two pairs of pants. It's one of those things, of okay? It's like, why do you park in a driveway, but you drive in the <laughs> parkway? Like, bro, legit. Oh. Genuine questions out here. <laughs> That's one that even the smartest scientists were never able to solve. It's one that MatPat couldn't even solve. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, MatPat's still, like, leaning over his notes trying to figure that one out. Yeah, no, he... Could you imagine? That's just... So he works, you know, on his game theories and film theories throughout the day, but when he comes home, that's when he starts slaving over, oh my god, but why do they park in the driveway? Dude... I'm, I'm kind of, I know that I can get through this level, but I'm kind of out here struggling. It's, it's, I'm at the very end of it, but I'm just kind of taking these really stupid hits. Even after all that practice, it didn't do nothing for you. I didn't practice this world at all. I thought that we were doing seven and eight in this recording session. Oh yeah, you didn't practice this world. <laughs> yeah, no, so well, today's I was just, I was just so saying, blind. didn't your practice, like, practicing... Even the harder levels should be helping you with these easier levels. Yeah, right? like I think that I'm definitely playing better, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I know where the star coin locations are. And like, I haven't learned the actual level itself. I mean, you only need one star coin per level, bro. All you have to do is just kind of find that one that's just like every single level has like one star coin that's just too easy. I thought you need two Piece of cake. I thought you need two star coins per level. <laughs> oh, it is two star coins per level. Have you only been but... doing one in this episode, Tyler? How did I forget this? Bro! Hold on, okay, you got two star coins in this level, but what about the previous ones? Dude, I don't... You know, don't you might know. not actually be as ahead as you thought that you were! Bro, I'm up into the third level right now! Why did I think it was two star coins? Why did... Oh, because I we haven't recorded this. this series since 1974! Like, bro! Damn! <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm roasting our That's back when, like, Hollywood was getting formed. <laughs> this is, like... <laughs> this is brand new entertainment. Was this, was, this started off as brand new entertainment, and now it's just become old news. Do you think that? Oh the, God, okay, I'm about to find out. I don't think. You think that the Mario 3D Land versus is old news, Tyler? I one. still get hyped to El Rojo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I forgot. That song is still really hype for me. That song is a freaking bop, man. In case anyone doesn't know. That they grow yeah, <laughs> Tyler, I by the way, made the, the theme song around, for this series. <laughs> it's up on what SoundCloud right now. Right? Yeah, it is on SoundCloud. I'll probably eventually put it into an album once I finish like making a lot of songs. What kind of album? Oh my god, I was purposely skipping over star coins because I was like, I only need one per level. God. I have to replay two levels now. <gasps> I did get two in five, two. Tyler, I'm not even gonna lie, that's actually bad. Because <laughs> I'm already on the third level right now. Like, I actually, you did not have a lead this entire episode. Bro, that's actually kind of rough. I didn't. You hate to see it, man. <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> yeah, no. So what kind of album were you trying to... Were you hinting at? Oh, it's a... It's an album where a bunch of like, video game characters, what they would be like if they became rappers. Yeah. So you specifically chose for Mario El Rojo. What are some other characters? Now I'm interested in this in this album. Oh, we got Lil Hyrule. Lil Hyrule. That's Adult Link when he's rapping. And then if it's Young Link rapping, it's just Young Link spelled Y-U-N-G. <laughs> God, I love it. Um... 
Can you please have like? Have? Can you have like a supreme shield? <laughs> a supreme shield, just a Hyrule shield. That would actually kind of good. A Hyrule shield with a supreme logo, right? Instead of the red, like highly crest, have the supreme. Logo. Yeah, I know. No, instead of the supreme text, like actually have the supreme text, bold white font written in Hylian font in the Hylian language. So it's supreme, but it just looks like it's a ton of different like emblems, a ton of different just symbols. <laughs> There has to be some sort of like Hylian word that would look that like has the same vibe as Supreme. Hmm. You know, the word has the same vibe. You know Zelda way nope. better than I do. Hold I'll have to think about it. I'm trying to focus on 3D land right now. Question of the day. This last star <laughs> coin. Yo, so me and you are actually in the exact what? same level right now. Oh, this shit. geyser's a bitch. Yeah, no, I was actually struggling right there for the platforming. I had this really freaking stupid death maybe like a minute ago where I was trying to get the freaking star coin. And then I died. You... Like, yeah, no, you hate to see it. No, 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 no! Don't throw me too far. <sighs> no. Oh Did god. I may. No. I'm back at the beginning. All right, never mind. So you know that lead that I was going to have if I would have actually made it to the flagpole, I completely lost it. Is this the only level that you need to go get that one star coin in, or do you need to go to anything else? Cause you said you need to play this back. Is the only level. What? This is the only level. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So I don't, I don't, I think I still technically have a lead now. So I've beaten the level after this too. Dang it. And I saw that you actually did have two star coins there. So if I didn't mess that one up, we would actually be tied up again. Dang it. Oh, dang it, dang it. This part fucking sucks, dude. I hate this part. This freaking game so fucking sucks. And that actually does it. But there's so many aspects about it where I'm, I just caught myself being like, oh my God. Okay. <gasps> that was kind of bullshit. What? Right. <laughs> like that. Whatever the hell is happening. Did you hear that? <laughs> Hold up. What? <laughs> Did you hear my? <laughs> what are they selling? <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> How do I make it up here? I'm like giving myself so much speed. Right. There it goes. It finally landed up there. Jesus Christmas. Jesus Christmas. <sighs> oh my glob. I'm really struggling. What? The struggle is too real at this point. No, it seriously is. I don't know how to get up here on this star coin. This is no, brutal. No, no, <laughs> no, you fell all the way down there. You hate to see it. Yeah, I didn't I realize how often it. that I actually say that until you called it out in this series, <laughs> by the way. Everybody has the words that they say way too much. Mm hmm. Everybody has their own word. Yeah, like it's like everybody's it's everyone's slogan. Like everyone has their own like you. Flipping platform. Okay, there has to be an easier one to get at a later point in this one. That Screw one's Tyler's that slogan one. is you flipping platform. That's always his go-to just finishing kill move right there. I think that's my first time I've ever said that. You flipping platform? I don't know, man. I thought you've been Wait, saying did that. Did you get the you. first dark coin? Did you actually get it? I did. I actually got it. Damn. Yeah, I know. No, maybe I would have done better. No, I don't even know if I could have done anything to like make me do better at that thing. Nah. Oh, I see the other star coin. The other one's way easier. Yeah, and, uh, I know. I think that I actually probably wasted some time even trying to get that first one. This one right here, you literally just need to jump for that. No, get back here. You fucker. There we go. Boom. Awesome. And then... Oh, God. Oh, let's get on the edge. Now I'm on the edge. edge. Surfing. A flowy. And I'm hanging on the moment with you. All right. Tyler, so I need to ask this. This is a very important question. Are you about to ask me what I thought of Chromatica? Not at all, actually. <laughs> what, did you want me to ask you what I thought of Chromatica? No, because I don't have good opinions. I'll be honest, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> oh, that was Lady Gaga's most recent album. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you were singing Lady Gaga, so I thought you were about to like- I sang Lady Gaga like, Lady from Gaga like 2010. I can't say they follow her in 2020, man. <laughs> I mean, she was like off the, I mean, she wasn't off the grid, but she like didn't make pop music for like nine years. And then she just released like a pop album and I don't like it very much because it sounds like it's. Did it sound like forced or? Like... It just sounds, I think it's cause I'm, especially since I've started to adapt more of like the West Coast style, it almost sounds like too forced and theatrical and over the top where I just like can't get into it. I feel that. She I just feel like that. so many times where she's like, rain <laughs> on me. <laughs> she gets like all oh, this. <laughs> it is way too much for you. I feel that. Good God. What are some albums you've been listening to lately, though? Now I'm curious. Crap, what have I been listening to recently? Um. I feel like since quarantine's happened, there hasn't been a whole lot of like full albums released that are that amazing. Mm -hmm. Janine Iko's actually. Janine Iko's. Okay, wait. What kind of album is that? Um, She's kind of like a. R&B soul, 
but her oh. music is like really like beautiful sounding. Dude. And she has a really pretty voice. She's been dating Big Sean for like the longest fucking time. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if it, she's still dating him actually. I think so. Dude. They've always had like a special relationship. That's actually, that not at all expect what I was expecting out of you. Just like, yo, what have you been listening to? Cause I actually really freaking like R&B soul music. Uh, like specifically Sade would probably be my favorite. But aside from that though, dude, I can actually get down to a lot of different shit. Uh, mm. Who was the person you said? Sade. I don't know if you'd even know where she is actually. She's not like pop R&B soul, which I'd imagine that might be what you'd listen to more. Mine's like a lot more like jazzy and like actually weirdly artistic. There was, I'd be down to listen to it. Yeah, and I feel like with you, and you and me are probably really similar in this aspect of we could probably just get down to almost anything though. At least like vibe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially if I like, especially if the person who's showing it to me also like really likes it and they yeah. like, I love. That's always the easiest way for me put to put on to other music. people's like music choices. Cause I love like tons of music. Just cause I don't listen to something a ton in my own spare time doesn't mean I dislike it. Exactly. It doesn't match the vibe. Me, <laughs> it doesn't match whatever you're feeling right now. Uh, like, okay, yeah. whenever I- like I'd... SZA. She's more of like a chill, like, R&B artist as well. Oh, shoot. She's a bit more popular, though, so I guess she'd be considered half pop. Yeah. I'm probably gonna die here. No, 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 no! Damn it. Like, I know for me, all right? The main type of music that I like listening to is like pop punk, uh, hardcore kind of stuff. Opera? Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Opera. Yeah. Tyler knows <laughs> me so well. I really struck him. <laughs> I honestly, when me and Tyler like first met, he just looked at me. He was like, "You strike me as an opera kind of guy." I'm like, "How did you know?" Hmm. But you like you like opera with a trap remix, so you get some of that newer like age. Dude, don't lie. <laughs> that could actually be pretty badass. Like, okay, think about it. Like maybe like Mobamba, right? You know the. Uh, call yeah. In, 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 in. <laughs> but like, with, imagine an entire <laughs> choir singing that. Like, all of them getting really lit, like, they're all dancing, getting down. Like, that could be a fucking party. Don't lie. That'd be sick. Okay, so we're gonna orchestrate, we're gonna orchestrate, you know the, the album Pop Goes Punk? Yeah. We're gonna do Pop Goes <laughs> Trap Opera. <laughs> pop Goes Trap Opera. Alright, right there, the very first, I think we Tropra. need- Tropra! That's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> we're inventing the new genre, Chopra, all right? The, you could see me in the crowd. Come trop with me, dude. <laughs> Good lord. All right, all right. So this question is, of the day. Welcome I'm, to the trop house. Welcome <laughs> to the trop house. <laughs> we're all wearing robes, but we also have, like, backwards eye supreme hats. <laughs> Good god. <laughs> and we also all like human sacrifices. Only on the side. I mean... It's not the main appeal, that's, but if that's, that's your thing. Decided, actually. Yeah. So, okay, let us know down in the comments. What would be the one pop song you'd love to see a, a Tropra version of? <laughs> <laughs> Best comment question of the day. Honestly, can that be the loser's challenge? Is the loser- they have to make a Tropra song? Yes, the winner has and to choose. And they have to sing the whole entire thing? <laughs> Okay, I'm actually down. I would totally make a Tropra sound as a <laughs> okay. loser challenge. I'm not going to lose, though, so you're going to be the one making Absolutely it. untrue. Actually, can you believe that this series is also, like, 6-6 six to six right now? Like, it's all tied up. It could be anyone's Wait, are game. are we tied up right now? I yeah. thought one of us had a lead. No! Wait, who do you think had a lead? Uh, I actually don't know. I thought one of us had a lead, though. No! No, we left off. Are we this actually is... tied? Yeah, we're actually tied. It's all 6-6 six to six right now, man. I guess they don't call me Tyler for nothing. That was ah. that was the worst. That was the worst pun. Like I know that I'm I just trying to match you. I'm just trying to match your bad pun energy. Okay. I don't blame you for trying to match the bad pun energy, but you got to do the bad pun with like a certain like just a certain finesse. You got to have a certain style to it. You know. <laughs> oh, did you have that certain finesse you're talking about? Oh, clearly. I mean, I'm just the best mm -hmm. at puns. Clearly, every every single pun that I make always lands. No, no one ever groans. No one moans. <laughs> Puns are great pilot. Always land in it. Exactly. Damn it. Don't you dare be taking my to What the fuck? Oh shit, what kind of death was that? What just happened? <laughs> I honestly don't know how I died just there. <laughs> but that sucks. You have to restart this whole entire level if you die. Good lord. Can I be honest? I hate boo houses. I hate boo houses with a passion. They're the stupidest. Boo house is like the easiest one. The yes and no. They're always so convoluted to like maneuver. Like it's just I don't know which rooms I've been in, which ones that I haven't yet, and how to collect all the star coins in them. Right here, I got my two star coins. That's all that I'm gonna really worry about, and I'm just Gonna figure out how to get out of here. I'm just gonna enter boxes until I'm out. 
<laughs> You're supposed to enter the box. Well, I guess I shouldn't tell you how to do it. No, that. you probably shouldn't. I'm literally your competition, but I'll gladly accept yeah. that advice. I mean, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I'm waiting. You know, I'll tell you after I have secured the W. No, 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 no. You, I mean, that was really, that's generous of you. You don't have to, you know? If, if you wanted to give it to me now, like, I'd really just appreciate that. <laughs> just gotta get a Wumbo win. Can I get that Wumbo win? Good lord. <clears throat> so, the... Th the thing is, is even if oh. I end up falling a little bit behind in this versus because of Special Worlds 5 and 6, I still feel ridiculously confident in 7 and 8. Like, you practice those worlds an unhealthy amount. <laughs> so you thought that's all there was, and you're like, I'm going to get this final point, and then it ended up... <laughs> Dude, it's because I really needed <laughs> to like practice, because I also know what the final level in this game is insanely difficult as well. You know? So, oh my god, I'm living for Dry Bowser with a ponytail. I'm just now realizing he has a ponytail. Is it a ponytail or is it a man bun? What dictates the difference? Is it like length? I think a man bun has to be a, a bun, but she doesn't have a bun. He has a ponytail. Well, I mean, how long of a bun could it be before? Like, I mean, did you get a good look at Bowser? If a bun becomes long enough, doesn't it become a croissant? Does it become a croissant? Have croissants ever been in? The man croissant? <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna start that trend? <laughs> that sounds dirty. Yeah, I don't know if I'd actually want to hop behind a trend called the man croissant. That actually sounds <laughs> kind of disgusting. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> okay, no, so comment question number like 72, because I, I guess, love I asking man these. man bun sounds like you're just talking about a dude's butt cheek. <laughs> yeah, okay, man bun doesn't actually sound that great out of context either. Oh, good God. What the hell is this episode, bro? Beat the world okay. already. I'm what lost. What you're supposed to do is you have to you have to go into the box that has a coin next to it. The coin is what marks which one is the right one. Oh, you probably collected the coins. So yeah, so it's hard to coin. be able to tell which one I'm actually I'm supposed to go to. Good Lord. Maybe you shouldn't have collected those coins, boy. But I got that win, so. You got the dub, man. It's six to seven. You're currently in the lead. The core clicks. I have to go back and like double check. I almost like don't believe you that. <laughs> what? That we have to get two per level? That's what I've been doing this entire series. No, I almost don't. No, I almost don't believe you that I we're tied. Yeah. Right now it's well. Okay, we're not tied anymore. Now you have one point lead. Okay, episode seven was one before this. Mm -hmm. That one was on your channel. Yeah, it was sixty six. Damn. Okay, seven seven to six. It's seven to I'll six, it. man. All right. With three more points available. That's ridiculous. You want to do a jump cut, and then right. we can hop into World Six and continue the yeah. This is going to take you a while to beat this. Clearly, yeah. No, it's definitely gonna. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys in a second. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Super Mario Three D Land versus. So. Uh, <laughs> It takes a lot of star coins to actually unlock all of the levels in this world, right? So I decided to hop into this second half of today's episode with my practice file just to make sure we can get the video recorded. And uh, that means that every single star coin that we're going to be seeing on my side of the screen, or at least most of the star coins, are going to have to be kind of like blue and ghost out, ghosted out, you know? Yeah. So to make sure that I still collect two star coins per world, all right, per level, I'm going to say yeah. a different sex position. I have an entire list pulled up right next to me, and we're just going to learn. This will be the educational episode of the Super Mario 3D Land Versus. <laughs> Wait, what does sex positions have to do with getting star coins? Absolutely I'm nothing so at all, but as long as I say two sex positions per level, that means that we're going to have the, the count correctly. So right there, face off right there. That's the first one. I actually don't know the name of that many sex positions, honestly. Yeah. I know like the, the main ones that like everybody knows, but I guess mm. I'm, this is gonna be a learning experience for me. It's gonna be a learning experience for everyone, all right? And if you would like to leave uh, some personal experience down in the comments. No, don't power. leave your personal experience about sex positions, you, please. That's uh, not. Okay, maybe not personal experience. Type what, of about, series. what about like a good, good, wholesome, well-written review about every single position? A sex position? Of each sex position that I say of, you know, just like, oh yeah, face off. I did that one back in 1982. You know, it was, it really served well. It served its purpose at the time, but overstayed his welcome a little bit. Yeah, my, my my wife got a little bit tired of it because she had to see my face while we were making love, and she was like, "Yeah, no, actually, it's not that bad, but it's not that great." Either, no, it's so not. I mean, you kind of have to sometimes maybe even like maintain eye contact. It's a little bit awkward. I'm looking over at the the picture right now. There's a diagram, which I'm not gonna <laughs> show, you know, for obvious reasons. But we can like vividly describe that. Yeah, no, your faces are indeed on each other's. Where the hell is another star coin though in this level? <laughs> This, this level is a bit of a maze, dude. It's kind of hard to find them. 
Yeah, I freak. found all three though. <laughs> Freaking clearly. Can you tell? I didn't practice for these ones. It's all good though, okay? The Quirk Click will make our comeback in Special World 7 8, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna be all tied up for the final level, dude. Trying I'm sorry to, to spoil you don't the win this world. If you don't win this world, that means if you lose World 7. If I win this world and World 7, that means I win. Yeah, no, you'll actually win the entire verses in itself. All right, and... This means World 8 will be kind of useless. It'll be a, it'll be a bonus episode almost at that point. Doggy style! That's the, that was the name of the second one that popped up in the list as expedition. But that means that we do I'm now have two star person, points. honestly. Why are you a cat person? Please, tell everyone. Please, I, I want this reasoning. You know, cats are way better at being cuddly and soft. Dogs are just so fucking, like, stiff and awkward. <laughs> like, Are you talking about the pets? Because, I don't know, I, I was still actually, like... Kind of on the whole sex position thing. <laughs> I know, but I would say. What the hell? I was just this? thinking about how. I don't know. <laughs> what the I'm hell? Just is this to, I'm, I'm comparing it with cats and dogs. I don't know. I don't even know not anymore. Saying, not saying that you're having sex with the cats and dogs. That's not what I'm inferring. I'm just. At this point, explaining why I prefer cats. And that's. I feel that. Anyways, this level's full of bubbles. That Anyways, there is another so star clean. coin right there. I could have gotten it. That's annoying. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they have a level with bubbles when you're so close to the end of the game. <laughs> like, there's literally one level in World 8, uh, the evil, scary lava level, where there's one, or the evil, scary lava world, where there's one level where it's just all bubbles. <laughs> it makes no sense. Like, it's a little bit of the urgency away. Like, it really does. Bubbles aren't very scary. They don't feel like <laughs> threatening and deadly. Worlds. Like, Best Bowser's thing. final few worlds before you can face him yourself. Tyler, I like your shirt. You know, some some of the worlds are scary, man. You gotta you gotta offset it with some bubbles. Yeah. Okay. You like my shirt, it's very. Oh shit. Sure. It's like the it's the rise of the blood moon, dude. I like <laughs> it. It's aesthetic. It matches the mic really well too, actually. It does. This is the first video I've actually ever recorded with a mic that's Ooh. not the other microphone I yeah. used for t almost ten years. Guys, Tyler got a whole new microphone. We're making upgrades and improvements in this versus as well. <laughs> Like, yeah, one thing at a time, I guess. One thing at a time. We've literally had, I, not every recording session, but a majority of the videos have had just a different background of some sort. <laughs> or just yeah, some kind of different. Up. Hey, we like the switch up though. It's gonna be like, this series in general is gonna be like wild to watch back in the future just yeah. because every I'll be able episode. to see like all the new, like, like all the areas I recorded in. Yeah, no. Frame. You literally recorded in your original office, then you went to Missouri, and now you're here back in this office, which is in LA, but it's a different room. My background switched. I had a different background for the first few episodes compared to now. Uh, actually, this is the first episode that I've ever recorded with. Uh, I got new monitors. I have an ultra wide monitor now, which is ultra wide. Ooh. Yeah. You it, like those wide curves. It, actually, he is curved. He's a real curvy boy. All right, boom, boom, bam. Curved monitors are really cool too. Dude, wait, is it, is it is it curved as well or is it just wide? Yeah, yeah, no, this is ultra wide and ultra curved. Actually, I don't know why the curved is ultra, but it, it, it is also curved. Playing freaking Mario on a curved uh, monitor is kind of ridiculous though. Not even gonna cap. <laughs> it's a little bit overkill. It kind of is, dude. Especially like usually, usually when you play 3D land, it's not like a shitty 240p screen that has yeah. forced like 3D graphics that nobody actually liked. Exactly. Meanwhile, I'm we're playing this on our top tier gaming PCs with our ultimate huge monitors. Like, dude, it's it's too much for this tiny little 3DS game to handle. <laughs> I've had I built a really expensive PC with a 2080 graphics card. Yeah, and the only games I've really played oh, Since I've gotten it pretzel dip Let's name the next one. So what are the games that you played? Um, pretty much only Mar Zelda I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around that one too and Mario 3d land versus yeah and Planet coaster and that's about all I've utilized it for yeah same here I want to do a stream really soon where I play like Rocket League or something like a fun like PC specific game, you know um, but so far, I've only just kind of used this my PC for for me. For my emulators. PC game I still really want to get into is Subnautica. Oh shoot! I've never played it, but I've watched a let's play of it, and I I freaking love it. I've I think, never seen a let's play of it, but I think it like the type of gameplay I think matches like mm -hmm. the types of games I like a lot. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. Would would that be a game that you can see yourself playing or streaming or making a video series for? I feel like I'd want to make a video series out of it. Oh, shoot. I feel like with a stream, it would take away the scariness. Yeah. Right. Maybe not. 
I don't know. What kind of like determines the difference there's, in your There's head? some things that I think just work better for like a video series because you can put a little bit more of a professional polish on a video series in mm, there's comparison less... to anything you can do with a live stream. Well, the thing is with the live stream is like what's going on right there is the content. If you respond to a chat message, that could take you out of the immersion of the game and the focus is the stream, you know? Exactly. I don't want to be like in the best part of the game and to get gifted like 20 subs. Yeah. You have to be like, Yo, oh, thank, thank you, so thank you for the sub! Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm like also trying to like be immersed into this mm -hmm. like game where you're like in the depths alone by yourself. Yeah, like if, with, with a game like Subnautica, it's super atmospheric and just kind of maybe it might not be the best stream environment. I get what you're saying. I oh, think there's definitely playing oh. a game on stream and playing it like as a let's play by yourself is like two completely different types of content. <laughs> yeah, 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 flat iron. Yeah, I feel that. I uh, I think that Nintendo games actually make for good both video and stream games now. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of depends on how you approach the, the type of content you make with it. For sure. Uh, but, like, any other game developers, honestly, kind of not as much as Nintendo. I think, like, the huge difference is almost, like, Nintendo's can be digestible in, like, one-off games. Like, a game like Mario, you know what you're getting into, and you can react to a sub and still kind of, it's fine. Bless you! Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, my God. A game like Last my of Us. sneezing is trying to self-sabotage me. Yeah, no. You, you're, what, one level ahead of me right now? Yeah. Do you ever get like afraid when you sneeze while driving? <laughs> like you're on a highway going like 80, 80 miles an hour. You can't see for like a slight <laughs> second because you're like too busy fucking dealing with your entire ass sneeze. <laughs> yeah. Good God. You just go like maybe like six seconds. You're just not looking at the road. That shit's terrifying. Did you know? Okay. The lines on a highway, you know what I mean? Like the lines, the, the white lines are 10 feet across each. Gee whiz. Wait, there's actually really? Yeah! How, how wide is an average car? What? How how wide is the average car, I wonder? Oh like god, I have no feet? idea. Seven Something feet? like that. No, 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 but I'm talking like the actual like vertical lines. They look so much closer together when you're driving incredibly fast. Uh, but Yeah, they do. Yeah, no, but if you actually looked at a freaking highway, they're spaced out. I'm struggling. Wait, how, many how many lives do you have right now? A solid 890. Like I said, this is my practice file. I went ham. <laughs> how did you accomplish that? There's Maybe the same way I accomplished my my extra lives as well. How, how many lives are you rocking out with? 636. 436. 400. Oh, my bad. People are going to just see this jump cut and look at my live count and be like, I'm sorry, what? Dude, the amount of game overs <laughs> that I was having in this versus up until this point was kind of atrocious. <laughs> I like was actually sometimes throwing up in my mouth whenever I watched your gameplay. It was bad at times, not even gonna lie, but that's never gonna happen anymore. We have 890 lives. It's physically impossible. No more game overs. We're finally done, and I need another game. So I might consider it overkill, but in this instance, it's over life. It's <laughs> over life. Anyways, Leapfrog. It's the name of the next one. Oh my one. god, that was so stressful. Oh, but I did it. Proud of you. What level you on? Uh, I'm still on 6 2. All right, boom, there we go, got a Tanuki. I should be able to finish it all off now, actually. I made it past the part that was actually giving me, like, difficulty, and now that I have a Tanuki leaf, I should be good! Yeah, never mind, just, I just, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Good luck, because I'm entering into 6-5. Jesus Christ, you're freaking three levels ahead of me. Oh, so sad that this level doesn't have 6-9. <laughs> oh, Punani Nani, hey, Punani Nani shake, Punani Nani. Dude, 6 9 is like such a weird artist because, like, I don't like him at all, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Like, I, I feel still that. listen to every new song he puts out. I, I can't just want to know what it sounds I like. I can't say that I've ever listened to a 6 9 album, like, front to back, but if he ever, like, comes on and shuffle, you know, like, Spotify's, like, autoplays and stuff, like, I don't turn him off. You know, have you he, listened? He brings a lot of, like, energy to a lot of his songs sometimes. <laughs> Which I like. <laughs> like, I'm just an energetic person in general. Have you heard uh, Juice World's new album, Legend Never Die? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that know. album freaking hit. That was nuts. All right, Stand and Deliver. <laughs> Some of these names are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the name of a sex position. I was like, is that the name of a Nintendo level? That does not sound the like stain and deliver Mario 3D Land level. <laughs> Featuring bubbles. God. What was your favorite song on, on the New Jersey World album though? Oh fuck. Um I can't remember much of them on a name basis. I just listened to yeah, the Yeah, same. I, I listened to the album like once, maybe twice? But I don't know. I'm not on the name basis with most of them. I just know that 
I, I, I wouldn't like, say I wouldn't say that I really do like the one with marshmallow, but I don't want to say that one because it's not like an actual like, juice song. Yeah, that one was so much more of a. Oh, by the way, Reverse Cowgirl. That one was a lot more of a marshmallow song, and also that was kind of like the banger song on the album. Like that was the song. So I don't know if I kind of want to like. I don't know if you're like that with albums or not. Like I don't like ever saying that my favorite song on an album is like the single or is like the one that's meant to be yeah the like banger. the one that like is meant to be made for everyone to like yeah that, which like, that takes it like kind of I mean, it's just pop it's it made it to pop music so exactly uh but Anybody honestly would like it even if they don't like juice yeah they still enjoy that song which that was 100 the marshmallow song by the way missionary i got one star coin as i died but yeah no that's 100 what the marshmallow song on the album was not that it's bad God, but it was I definitely like, there's like so many songs that, that i like i just can't think of the freaking names like the first like Three to four songs in the album are all phenomenal. 1,000%. Uh, Damn. Life's a Mess, that was the one that I liked. That was the one with Halsey, which that one was also a single, and it came out, like, the day before the album dropped, I think. Like, it was super recent. Well, you pronounce it Halsey? Is that not how you say it? I say Halsey. You say Halsey? <laughs> I don't know which one it is for sure. I think it is Halsey, though. I don't all think right. it's Halsey. So, comment question of the day, number 64. Or <laughs> I've asked I mean, so many of these. <laughs> Or we could just use Google after the episode to find out. Yeah, at that point, I don't know. I almost like using the comment section as my Google. Oh, uh, by the way, Eiffel Tower. Oh, God, I'm about to die. <laughs> Ooh, that one's a good one. Thank you. I'll be honest. I just kind of came up with that one off the top of my head. I, I looked over at my uh, at my list and I had all of them set already. I needed to scroll down. <laughs> Lord. I've definitely, I definitely know what that one is, though. Yeah, you know about the Eiffel Tower? Personal experience rated on a scale of one to ten. I actually just climbed, uh, not didn't climb, but I went up the Iceling. Not the Iceling. What's the name of the tower that's at Kings Island in Ohio? I have no idea. That's like, it's like a miniature version of the Eiffel Tower. I have no idea. I know while you were in Ohio, you went to Cedar Point. That's literally my favorite amusement park ever. What'd you think of it? Oh, it was it was really awesome. Although yeah. social distancing made it like not pinball wizard park. Yeah, I'd imagine it probably made it a lot less fun. Like, but since it was my first time and I've never like ridden anything there before, it was still like a great time regardless. Yeah. Right. Because favorite new coasters rides. are new coasters. What my were your favorite, favorite rides? Ride was... So, Steel Vengeance is like by far the ride I respect the most there. Mm -hmm. So that's but the one that's been around my forever. Favorite. Just... Huh? Isn't that the one that's been around forever, or was that another one? I think it was like Blue Streak. It's the or one something? that started off as Mean Streak. It was a shitty wooden coaster, and then RMC mm -hmm. came through and retracted it and turned it into like the best coaster ever pretty much yeah. most Dude. people consider it the best coaster of all time but mm -hmm. for me since i'm really tall the type of restraint that they have it Chairman. kind of like locks your legs in place and makes me very yeah like uncomfortable i so feel that's like that my only complaint with it mm -hmm. but apart from that it's kind of like tied between maverick and millennium force i was just about to say millennium force is easily my favorite it has been ever since that i was a kid because i a mean great giga yeah uh, for me, like all kinds of school trips, I uh, always went to Cedar Point because my school is maybe like two hours away from the amusement park. Uh, so mm. I ended up going there like throughout uh, middle school and high school and everything once a year at least, you know, maybe even twice. Or yeah. So I definitely like know a lot of the ones. Gemini was always my older brother's favorite, which I don't know if you did that one. That's the one where it's like the two that go, uh, they coincide with each other, the two carts. Uh, it's really freaking cool. There was one time oh, too. Oh no no no! I didn't I... get to ride that because it was closed. Since uh, Cedar Point, since they're like so close to Canada, mm -hmm. a lot of the people that are like the staff for the park, yeah, actually like aren't able to. The Lindsay Lohan. What? They're not able to work right now because the Canadian border is closed. So like lots of the international employees aren't able to work. So they're kind of short staffed. So they weren't able to open up everything. Interesting. Because they also have to have a lot of extra staff for Whew. to make sure people are wearing masks and stuff. Yeah, for sure goodness uh, so like they're having to add extra staff to the rides but they have less staff to work with because of corona so yeah did you uh what were some of the other rides that you went on i know the dragster is always get to like... ride top thrill dragster unfortunately the state oh. was still doing like tests on that one that's the one that like the ride right there that you need to go on at some point because th yeah it gets so hyped. fast it yeah that's the one that gets hyped up as like one of the fastest roller coasters ever something like that i, I don't entirely know but it gets really, really hyped it's up. It's one of the tallest coasters ever. Oh, that's what it is. I, I knew it had something to it. Cedar what Point? Mario. Cedar Point also Mario, has what the, the tallest you going uh, swings. The circular swings. I, I don't know like the, the actual. barn swings? What? Like the, 
I think they're I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 I think it's called the. It's not called the wind machine. Something like that, though. The wind seeker. Like the swinging, the swinging chairs one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cedar Point, I think, really has high. the tallest in the world of that. Which is really cool. It goes over the beach of, I think it's Lake Michigan. It might be a different one though. Lake Erie Lake or something. Lake Erie is the lake yeah. it's on. Dude, that kind of stuff is so cool. I know every single time that I've ever actually gone to Cedar Point, I also make sure to go on the swings. Even though it's not like they're like a thrilling ride or anything. It's always just like, bro. It's, oh, but like they're terrifying so nice. because you're just like up there in your own little like chair, just like. Mm -hmm. Yo, <laughs> speaking speaking of Hanging chairs. over the edge of hundreds of feet. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your favorite? Auto scroll. Auto scroll is so scary. What's your favorite amusement park that you've ever been to, just in general? Because would you say Cedar Point uh, or, or not? Nah? That you kind of didn't get to entirely experience it. So for me, it's hard because I also love scenery a lot, and Cedar mm -hmm. Point doesn't really bring a lot of scenery to the table. Really? Oh shit! I just hyped up Lake Erie and everything too. Where was there? Um, I love. I think Cedar Point is like. It's so hard to choose because hmm. my favorite is probably Silver Dollar City, my home park in Missouri. Uh huh. Do you think that might be because they have of bias awesome though? coasters, but they also have some of the best scenery like ever, like mm -hmm. out of any theme park in the country? Yeah. I went there to Silver Dollar City when I was like eight years old. I don't entirely remember it. I just remember liking the fireball. <laughs> but I didn't the get fireball. Uh, wildfire. Wildfire. Did I get it wrong? My bad. Like I said, I literally only went there once when I was like a kid. Good experience. <laughs> it's go again as an adult. It's even better as an adult. They also just added. They've added so many good rides yeah. since you were there as a kid. The seashell. The last time there was tw like twelve years ago. Then like. Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine it, they probably added quite they a bit. They built Outlaw Run, which is one of the best uh, wooden hybrid coasters hmm. in the world as well. Now they built a ride called the Time Traveler recently. They just built a new River Rapids ride hmm. that's really cool. It actually instead of like going up a chain lift type of thing to go up, mm -hmm. it takes you like on an elevator and it lifts your whole entire like raft up like super high, and then you go like down like a water slide chute before you go to like the huge like drop at the end. So that's cool. That's so cool, actually. Holy crap! Can you guys tell that Tyler likes roller coasters? You should watch the Planet Coaster series. <laughs> Dude, so I'm two points ahead of you now. Oh wait, you won? No! I went about like 30 seconds ago. I was I... just finishing our conversation first. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll finish all off with the best one, the Golden Arch. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode of Super Mario 3D Land Versus. I promise I'm gonna come back in the next episode. I'm, I have stupid confidence for World 7 and 8, I'm telling you. We finna find out. <laughs> we finna find out. I went into today's episode blind, so I apologize. <laughs> no, all did not work out great in your favor. Numbers. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Woo! The next episode will be up on Tyler's channel Wednesday. Peace, peace. <laughs> Should we even acknowledge schedules at this point? Yeah, with this probably series? not. <laughs> Find a land and I'm running around it Jumping and crunching, I'm gonna ground pound it Breaking it up, power I got Cooking up grandpa's a fire, I pull up Put on the sea boy and pocket to Nuki To hang with me, this kid's playing hooky Even my worst game of Bob, Hey, I give him a legend and you, rookie To this land, 3D, I'm a OG, comma